this video is uh, kind of introduction to the cry cage uh, armor chassis. This chassis is, as of I don't know when, um, no longer made by Cry Precision. This example has both a uh, medium intersection and medium plate bags. Basic workings have this uh, snap at the bottom of the front bag. Velcro on the front side. <clears throat> Velcro comes off there. You have this piece, um, which I believe can be switched to either side, but I'm right-handed. This just works better for me. Um, so have your hook there. Inside, once again, has these nice foam gel pieces. Um, there's a middle section here that's actually missing um, on mine, or not missing. I don't use it just to keep it more snug on the sides. These upper shoulder pads are super comfortable as well. And very nice gel on the inside. The really neat thing about this, as opposed obviously to Cry CPC um, or uh, plate carrier, is the fact that this entire you know half along with that half um, have uh, soft armor in them. So it's not just the actual plates giving you protection, but you have this giving you um, you know pistol and frag protection. Anyway, easily goes. Just gets over the top like that. Hooks there. Top comes up. This stretchy across the center. Snaps in and you're good. And this is where you can really see what it does. I'm sure the plate gets centered mass, but it gives you several inches on the side here in front. Obviously the shoulder sections, the side here, and on the back. And just like the belt, this thing is super comfortable, very snug. I've worn this for hours at a time. Not really doing a lot of intense labor, but it is definitely um, more comfortable than the uh, weight of the platform itself would suggest. Um, even though I don't actually have those uh, plastic uh, STKSS extenders or whatever they're called, uh, that Cry makes to help put some of the weight of this onto your hips with um, one of their belt platforms. This is still very comfortable. Uh, just the extra friction of it throughout your entire chest area. You still have the ability to breathe heavily uh, to expand your chest cavity, but so much of the weight is um, put onto your torso due to friction that the weight on your shoulders is really not that bad. And I think that's one of the very impressive things about what Cry has done with this. Also, the uh, offset that the plates get. Well, admittedly, you know, moving the plates away from your body means there's slightly less protection. On the flip side, that means that any rounds it stops, you have, well, in this case, nearly nearly an inch extra of material between the back of your plate and your body. Um, so if it stops around, you can take a bit of extra deformation before that round is going to start giving you bruises. Now a lot of more recent plate carrier manufacturers have started doing stuff like this where they put like little circular pads on the inside of their plate carriers. Um, but Man, cry. This was mid-2000s, early to mid-2000s when they came up with this. And it is quite, quite impressive. Um, here you can see some of the uh, insides here. They have a, a strip there which um, you can use with uh, like their lap panel. Uh, I used to have the lap panel at one point. Really didn't like it. Um, 
because it felt it kind of got in the way of my legs. There are other lower body armor protection pieces that work a bit better. Uh, hoplite armors, uh, thigh um, or femoral armor as an example. Anyway, so there and actually I'll show how you get the plates into one of these uh, Take both of those off. That piece here. This has two little uh, corner sections that help lock the plate in. And then, like I said, uh, medium chassis, medium plate bags. And it's still big enough to be able to fit this. This is a it's like a 0.75 inch. Um, just about three quarters of an inch uh, thick uh, three plus plus uh, silicon carbide uh, plate with a really three a plus armor backer uh, by Armor Express. These plates are uh, CP made in Finland, really nice stuff. You used to be able to get them from Veristelica, uh, but you can't anymore because even if they had them, uh, which I don't think they have this particular plate for sale anymore, they uh, no longer ship to the United States. I don't know if that's a finish regulation, more likely an EU zone regulation. But yeah, put it up into there. Um, kind of get an idea of just how thick of a plate will handily fit in uh, one of these bags. And of course, this is a regular 10 by 12 plate. So you got that, just kind of hold it in. And then the uh, Velcro there, and it's a, it's a nice snug system. Also, front plate bag has this pocket right in here. Never used it super, super tight with a plate in there, so uh, not gonna really bother with that. Um, of course, you know, some hook and loop Velcro for uh, name tags and units, whatever, you know, regular, regular PALS webbing. Um, top here, uh, starts here, goes over and across, so you can use that to adjust uh, how much width you get across the shoulders. You have your quick release tabs on either side. They have this very nice little Velcro patch that goes in there and then goes underneath this. So this is not really going to come out accidentally. <laughs> Coming out accidentally would be pretty bad because what it does is um, it goes down into the back here and through the back there's this zigzag cord um, which locks into these cables and what the cable does is when you pull it it um, You know the, the cords running around it as soon as you pull that cable out Cord has nothing to hook on to and the whole back is going to separate Nice carry handle Back one is pretty similar Overlap here and uh, same kind of same kind of system there. Also, obviously, comes with the uh, zippers for uh, quickly adding uh, extra packs and whatnot to the back. And uh, this, you know, hard not not really hard. It is actually soft armor. You can you can bend it, but the structure that this gives is really quite nice. And that also um, helps a lot in it's the feeling of the weight of this. Uh, these are four and a half pound plates. The 3A backers themselves are nearly a pound each. Um, I don't know what the base weight of the vest in plate bags is, uh, but this entire thing is, you know, well over 20 pounds. Um, and honestly, really doesn't feel that bad. 
Uh, now, obviously, I don't have all of my magazine pouches and everything else uh, on top of this, just the bare vest. Um, but, uh, like I said, it does a really, really good job of distributing the weight. And, uh, I mean, the cost of this is an obvious reason for why Cry doesn't really sell these anymore. Uh, in fact, as of um, sometime in the last couple of years, they're no longer on their website. Anything else to mention? Yes, I have uh, in the past worn uh, both Gen 3 IOTVs as well as SPCSs. Both of those basically kind of flopped over your body and almost all the weight was on the shoulders. The SPCS especially was uncomfortable um, for that reason. IOTV wasn't too bad, but it kind of felt like you were wearing a bag. Uh, the other one that I have used that comes closer to this is the Eagle Industries uh, Cirrus. Um, that one was uh, pretty good, uh, for sure. But man, this is there's a reason why Delta Force used these. These are pretty much the cream of the crop. That is a small set of details for the Cry Precision cage armor chassis.